Hey everybody, how's it going? Burnt Brian here. I hope you're all having a good weekend so far. Mine has been uh, kind of low-key. It's been raining all weekend here in Florida, so just enjoying the lazy, rainy days. But I wanted to do a review for you. I saw some stuff that Chuck the Biz reviewed from Race City Sauce Works up in North Carolina. Uh, he did a dark chocolate elixir that sounded really amazing to me, so I wanted to be sure to pick it up. I picked up uh, some of that as well as their uh, salted caramel and ghost chili white chocolate elixir. Uh, absolutely amazing. I have tried this already. I couldn't resist. I had some friends over and wanted to make an alcoholic drink with it. So we did a, uh, a, a B-52 shot that came out really good. And being a big Lebowski fan and stuff, I absolutely love uh, white Russians. And I imagine that this would go really good in a white Russian as well as the, uh, the dark chocolate elixir. But I wanted to make sure I reviewed it for you. Uh, it says here that the ingredients are just sugar, water, sweetened, condensed skim milk, invert sugar, non-fat milk, cocoa butter, vanilla bean, boot jalokia powder, rum essence, salt, natural flavors, potassium sorbit, and uh, soy lecithin and some kind of gum for preservatives. Uh, of course, it contains nuts, soy, and dairy, so if you're allergic, don't drink it, you'll die, or something bad will happen to you. Um, it says, silky smooth and downright delicious. This drinking chocolate is like no other with hints of banana, black walnut, salted caramel, and just a hint of the dubious ghost pepper to add a subtle tingle to your tongue. Serve this either on the rocks for a unique after-dinner drink slash dessert in your coffee or even behind the bar for a special twist on a chocolate martini. Now, I didn't do a chocolate martini, but uh, it was pretty damn good in the B-52, I'll tell you that. So, of course, I've already given this a lot of shake. You want to make sure to shake this as well as the other chocolate drink and stuff. Uh, it'll have a lot of chocolate, dark chocolate that'll settle down on the bottom, much like a Yoohoo or something. Really want to shake all that up and make sure it mixes into the drink. Uh, looking into it, you can see all these little red speckles, which I'm assuming would be the ghost pepper uh, flakes. And, uh, you know, it looks really interesting. It's got a nice thick consistency to it. Um... Ah, the smell is just, it's amazing. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it almost has this butterscotch kind of uh, essence to it. But I do pick up the caramel smell and the creaminess of the milk. Let's give this one a, of course, I'm not going to do a spoon for this kind of thing. Look at that nice consistency. It's nice and thick. But not, you know, again, overly thick. It's just a nice, uh, creamy drink. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Actually just bit into a little chunk of a pepper that was in there. Not bad. You really get a strong uh, presence of the vanilla bean in there. You know, working in Italian restaurants and doing a lot of different desserts, I would cook with vanilla bean. It's got a very strong, obvious vanilla flavor. Um, that really adds to it. And what I really like about this one, opposed to the chocolate one that I had, and maybe it was just me, but the chocolate one didn't really seem to have as much of a, a hit from the uh, ghost pepper powder, whereas this one seems to really give you a little bit more of a kick than the other one. Um, wow, it is, it's delicious, very, very tasty. Um, again, you can mix it with all kinds of uh, liquor drinks if that's your thing, or you know, if you're not a drinker, you know, again, it'd be great little after dinner drink. Um, it would even pair very well with some other desserts like tiramisu or something like that. Mm. Very good stuff though, man. Uh, definitely check out Ray City Sauce Works. I will put a link to them right here uh, as well as in the description. Oh, I love that tingle from the ghost pepper. Great tasting stuff. Again, this is a drinking chocolate. It's the first really kind of chili infused uh, snack or, well, sweet thing I should say. And I love it. It's awesome. Um, great balance of heat and, and, uh, and sweetness. Wonderful job. So again, check them out. They've got an amazing line of sauces, a lot of really interesting stuff. 
uh, with great ingredients. That's why I also picked up their uh, Zen sauce here, and it's a sake and kumquat dipping sauce. So I'll probably try to pick up some sushi from a local spot like uh, Dragonflies. Uh, it's a really cool little uh, sushi place we have here in town. But yeah, definitely check them out. And uh, you know, again, you can follow me on Facebook. Um, you know, I'll have a link down in the description how you can find me. Always posting new stuff in there, photos and things. So uh, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys following me along. Please leave a little comment down there. I love talking with you all. Uh, it's great to kind of get to know people from around the world and we all share similar interests. So I think this is a you know, great community that we have here. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, and as always, stay toasty, my friends.